The Carloom TVR Challenge blasts into life here at Donington Park. It's the opening two races of the 2004 season. There are one or two new names in the championship, and the old favourites are back for another year that, as ever, is bound to give plenty of action. Pole position then for the first race of the season goes to Richard Hay. It's a newly re-livered car and Richard aims for a better season this time than last year. It's a nice way to start off but we started last season the same way and then it just went downhill from there so I, I don't expect too much from the race at the moment, just try and keep out of trouble. Lining up alongside him is the reigning champion Lee Caroline but winning the title this year is going to be a whole lot tougher. I'm thinking it's going to be difficult because we can't do all the meetings so... Um, we've got other prospects like maybe the British GT Championship that we've been offered to do, so we actually don't know if we're doing the whole season, but I will be competing in quite a few races, so if I do that, I'll just be there to try and win, win the races I do, you know. Lining up third on the grid and yet to score a win is Philip Keane. Today could be his day. Yeah, it was brilliant last year. I mean, we've uh, made a few development changes to the car and improved it a lot, and it seems to be going really well this year, so hopefully we'll, uh, we'll win this year. Well, let's see them, because the cars are lined up, ready for battle. Ten laps ahead of us, the green flag waved at the back, the lights are red, lights don't go to green anymore, the lights go out, and away they go, down towards Redgate corner. Lousy start, as ever, by Lee Caroline, and it's Chris Stockton who leads there, going down towards Redgate. Somebody locking up there, that's Darren Dowling, looking to go right around the outside of Richard Hay. Number two, David Mason, from way back on the grid, 11th he started, he's looking to make ground. The cars then going down to the Crater Curves for the first time. It's a 10 lap race on the newly resurfaced Donington and Chris Stockton leads right up behind him is a sideways Philip Keane looking for a gap, third is Dowling, fourth is Hay and Hay goes third, look does he on the inside turning out of the old hairpin, Richard Hay up alongside Darren Dowling and through he goes. It's still Chris Stockton in the lead but only just, he's got Phil Keane right up behind him, third is Hay, fourth is Dowling, fifth is the recovering Lee Caroline and Chris Stockton goes too deep into McLean's, he goes off, he goes into the gravel, Chris Stockton in big, big trouble here. He's down to fifth, it's going to be worse than that if he gets back onto the circuit now because another four or five cars go past him. Chris Stockton then has made a real, real mess of McLean's and that throws him right down the order. He was one of the revelations of the few races he did last year, took a win at Truxton, but here he's been in the gravel, is down to the chicane for the first time. Lee Caroline comes charging up on the inside and he goes third. No, he doesn't. Darren Dowling cuts across him all over the curve. There goes Dowling, he gets sideways and Dowling spins. Now Lee Caroline goes third, and Darren Dowling, after a big, big lose, coming out of the chicane, has got to wait for a gap in the traffic and then try to rejoin as Keane leads Hay. Richard Hay looking on the inside there as they went into Redgate. Further back, Ben Samuelson trying to make up ground on the inside of number 11, Charlie Kemp. Through he goes, whoops, Kemp gets a big whack in the back by Tim Hood. And this is Chris Stockton, the recovering Chris Stockton. Ahead of him there is Charlie Kemp, down through the crane of curves they go. Into the old hairpin. You'll notice the gravel trap much closer to the edge of the road these days than it has been. Up front, heading to McLean's corner, it's Philip Keane. Now remember, he's never won in a Tuscan. He came so close last year at Rockingham, but was pipped on the line by Lee Caroline. Caroline's third, and this a replay of what happened to Chris Stockton a lap ago. Unsettled coming into McLean's, too deep into the corner, runs out of room, into the gravel he goes, tries to get himself out the other side, which he eventually does, but he loses a whole load of places in the process. And this, the replay of Darren Dowling coming out of the chicane too quickly. Round comes the back, and Darren Dowling spins himself down the order. Philip Keane then coming out of the old hairpin. There's David Mason making good progress. Mason now up into fourth. In fifth place is Ben Samuelson, and somebody there using a bit of the grass coming down through the crater curves. It looks like one of the insane racing cars. It is, and that's Darren Dowling recovering after his moment at the chicane. And somebody on the grass is Charlie Camp who's going to lose it. It's very, very slippery on that grass. There's been a lot of rain both yesterday and overnight. And Charlie Camp eventually spins the car and gets back on the tarmac, sets off now, losing a place to Bob Ross in the process. The top three now all bunching up. Keane leads, Hay second, Lee Caroline third. Out of coppice they come down towards the chicane. And now Lee Caroline should be close enough to have a go at Richard Hay. Goes to the inside as they head now down towards the chicane. Caroline on the inside, he's got the room, he should go second. Up the inside, into second place goes Lee Caroline. Hey, slots in behind him third as they come now out of the chicane, past the pits. It's still Phil Keane in the lead then, and now that Lee Caroline's up to second, can he go after him? No, he can't. Richard Hay tries the inside, then the outside, and Caroline suddenly has to go back into defensive mode. 
Richard Hay looks on the outside, and that's Darren Dowling losing it again at the chicane. Round he goes, Andy Holden goes off in avoidance. And Darren Dowling is about to try and rejoin. Andy Holden, his insane racing teammate, got caught up in that. Holden on the grass, I think he's had another moment himself. Darren Dowling rejoining, and there is Andy Holden's car. He's made fairly solid contact with the barrier opposite the pits. And Andy Holden about to try and get himself out of the car. Meantime, Philip Keane is still the race leader. Second is Caroline, third is Hay, fourth is David Mason. They turn their way out of coppice, down towards the chicane. Now, this is where Caroline had a go at Hay last time. Can Richard Hay do it back to Caroline now? Having a look on the inside, maybe, as they come down towards the chicane. Phil Keane's got a back marker ahead of him. Look as they come into the chicane. The very slow Gerard Coakley. Keane goes barging up on the inside, though, as they approach the yellow flag zone. Coakley backs right off. Hay goes past him. Caroline goes past him. Mason goes past him. And now, down towards Redgate they go. Lee Caroline still looking for a way back ahead of Richard Hay, who's up into second place. And David Mason trying to go around the outside there, going into Redgate. Despite the yellow flag zone, Phil Keane's managed to break away a little bit here. And Lee Caroline now having to weave around and try and keep David Mason behind him. Through the crater curves once more. David Mason looking for a gap, but just is not a Tuscan-sized gap as yet. Hay then in second place once again. Lee Caroline third, David Mason fourth, but Philip Keane looks as though now he may have been able to make the break that he needs. Hay, in fairness, getting away now from Caroline, who's had to go into defend mode once more. He's got Mason tucked right up behind him. These two that battled for years on the Speedworth Ovals have done it again in Tuscans this year as they did last, and nose to tail they come from McLean's up towards Coppies. If Richard Hay can get away from them, he might just be able to get himself onto terms with Phil Keane. Keane looking for his maiden Tuscan win, still leading then as Mason that is right up behind Caroline, out of coppice once more. If he gets a toe now, he might be able to have a go at the end of the straight here. Caroline being defensive, hugging the inside as they head down towards the chicane. David Mason inching up onto the outside of him, looking on the outside, but to no avail. Lee Caroline keeps his third place through the chicane. Accelerating now up over the start and finish line. This time the road is clear, down towards Redgate they go. Mason possibly close enough to have a go, but there's no gap on the inside. The emergency vehicle you saw there just peeling off at Redgate. Yellow flags there, therefore, no overtaking allowed. And as the cars head onto the top of the crater curves, there's another back marker getting in the way. That looked like Rob Tolbert. It's played right into Philip Keane's hands. He's gone, and Richard Hay was delayed there, going round Redgate. Heading now down through the Craner curves once more. Not only was Hay delayed in terms of losing ground to Keane, he's also got Caroline and Mason right up behind him again. Three of them then running together for second place. Surely now that has given Keane the break that he needs up towards McLean's corner. Mason hard at work. Caroline attacking and defending all at the same time here. Into McLean's. Mason loses the back of the car. Round it goes. He just hangs on to it. Clatters the curb. Loses heaps of time to Caroline, who now attacks Hay on the inside. Locks up. Scrabbles through. That was a pretty late lunge. But Lee Caroline has made it stick. Lots of opposite lot needed to keep the car away from anything solid. But he goes second. Richard Hay, I think possibly deciding discretion was the better part of valour there. Let's Caroline go. Now fighting back, coming into the chicane. Is he going to be able to find a way round on the outside? Not there, he's not. Lee Caroline then in second place, up towards the line. He's got Hay right up behind him. He's got Mason closing as well. Past the pits they go. But Philip Keane is long gone now. Down to Redgate. Hay once more challenging on the inside for second place. He's almost alongside. Can't quite do it, though. Lee Caroline just hangs on to it. But look at Mason now right up behind Hay. David Mason going for the inside as they head towards Hollywood. Here's a replay of Phil Keane barging past Gerard Coakley, the back marker, and all that approaching where the ambulance was on the circuit. Hay sprints past Coakley. So does Caroline. So does Mason. All four then, past the back marker, and all four still battling for honours here. Down towards the chicane, second, third and fourth, Caroline Hay and Mason. And Richard Hay this time round the outside of Lee Caroline, possibly he breaks very, very late. David Mason scrabbles up on the inside, and Richard Hay then runs wide, loses a place. David Mason goes ahead of him. Now, what can Mason do about Caroline? A bit of a gap between second and third, and Mason still having to defend as well. Look, Richard Hay tries one side and then the other going into Redgate. Another puff of tyre smoke. Richard Hay very determined to get back into the top three. But I'm not convinced it's going to work for him. David Mason at the moment with the advantage. Lee Caroline second, but Philip Keane inching closer now to a first ever Carloom TVR Challenge win. Turning their way out of the old hairpin now, up towards the left-hander of Schwantz Curve, then right into McLean's. And Richard Hay now looking as though he's dropped too far back here. Mason taking the challenge to Caroline. Into McLean, David Mason closing right up there, under braking, out of McLean's, up towards Coppice. David Mason that came into Tuscan Racing a couple of years ago, goes right round the outside there, very brave move, almost touching Caroline's car, but he's done it. 
David Mason makes the move, stick right round the outside of Caroline, who's sideways coming out of Coppice. That was a great bit of driving. And David Mason there from 11th on the grid up into second place, heading down towards the chicane. Lee Caroline having a look on the inside there. He can't find a way through, but David Mason runs wide. Does he go into the corner? Lee Caroline tries to scrabble up alongside him. Mason still hanging onto the place, though. Up they come across the start and finish line. One more lap to run now. Phil Keane leading, second is Mason, and this is how he did it. He breaks very, very late, flings the car into coppice, scrabbles around the outside of Lee Caroline, and David Mason is second. Up to the checkered flag, though. Phil Keane looking as though he's going to win, but this is for second place. He's between Mason and Caroline. Mason locking up. Phil Keane comes out of the chicane to win the opening round of the Car Loop TVR Challenge. Who's going to be second? It's going to be a dead heat almost between them, but Lee Caroline just does it. There's a brush between the two of them as well. But Lee Caroline comes home for second, David Mason third, Richard Hay fourth, and this is Chris Stockton making his way through the chicane. Remember, he led for half a lap, he went into the gravel, he comes home a rather distant fifth. Wow, an all-action start to the Carloop TVR Challenge season. Phil Keane the winner by just under three seconds. Caroline second, ahead of David Mason third, then Hay, Stockton and Ben Samuelson round out the top six. Oh, it wasn't quite that easy. Um, it was good, the car was brilliant, um, struggled a bit. Um, middle of the race because a back marker breaks in front of me in the chicane but apart from that it was drama free. I got my usual bad start as you probably noticed um, but the track was so slippy I just couldn't really get tuned in and then Philip got away and, and to be honest with you halfway through I was just defending instead of chasing so I, I never was going to catch him but um, David gave me a good run for my money to the last corner so he had a good drive because he didn't qualify too well because of a fuel problem but it was a good race, it must have been entertaining to watch. I was so concerned about overshooting the corner, I turned early and got a bit of the mud on the left, on the right hand side, so consequently the next left hand corner it was a bit slippery because of the mud on the tyres and then ran a bit wide, Lee nipped up the inside, so it's unfortunate, but um, remember not to let that happen in the next race, I'm sure. The feature race coming up, 11 laps here at Donington after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to Donington, the opening round of the Car Loop TVR Challenge. This is the 11 lap feature race. Phil Keane lines up on pole position. He won the earlier race today. He has Lee Caroline alongside him on the front of the grid and around the 1.96 mile national circuit. Action from TVR Tuscans is guaranteed. Everybody ready and back from the green flag lap. The lights go red, engine notes rise, the lights go out, away they go. Down to Redgate there for the first time. And Lee Caroline yet again makes a duff start and so does Phil Keane. He doesn't exactly get away too quickly. It's going to be David Mason who leads into Redgate. Second there is Chris Stockton. Richard Haygate round the outside. There's a nudge though from Phil Keane who's fourth, fifth is Lee Caroline. And somebody else in trouble is Charlie Kemp heading for the grass. Despite all that, they're just about safely around Redgate and down through the crane occurs for the first time. Mason then, in the lead of the race at the moment. Second is Chris Stockton who led briefly in race one. And this is Stockton's view coming out of the old hairpin. Up through the gears on a slippery road, heading up towards Schwartz Curve and Chris Stockton having a big old wobble there. Gathers it all up, sorts himself out, going into McLean's corner, but David Mason is trying to get away. Mason leading there, but the back of the car comes round, he's run far too wide, he's off, he's in the gravel. Just like Chris Stockton did, Stockton's got it wrong as well. Look at David Mason on the grass that's so, so wet and slippery, loses it, round it goes. David Mason, I'm afraid, has thrown himself from hero to zero. He's going to rejoin flat last by the look of it. He's going to struggle to get off the grass as well. Meantime, Richard Hay is going to lead at the end of lap one. Chris Stockton, after his grassy moment, is third. Between him and Hay is Phil Keane. And Keane looking to try to make it a double here. Lee Caroline is fourth and inching up onto the back of Stockton. And the leading quartet now breaking away. Look, Ben Samuelson is fifth and he's under pressure as well as they come down towards Redgate. A replay here of David Mason's first lap at McLean's. Going into the right-hander, finds himself on the wet part of the road. The back starts to come round. He almost finds the correction he needs, but he goes off through the gravel and then onto the very wet grass, and that ruins it for him. He goes right the way round, and that spins him to the back of the pack. Meantime, it's three for the lead now. Chris Stockton getting himself right up onto terms with Philip Keane, and Lee Caroline falling away from the leading group at the moment. For whatever reason, the reigning champion here not able to match the pace of the top three. Down to the chicane. Hay leading. Phil Keane looking for a run on the inside. Is he? Yes! Desperately late on the brakes. Phil Keane, lucky there. He didn't collect anybody. He goes up the grass, back onto the tarmac. And that was a very optimistic move. It didn't work. He slips to third. And Richard Hay and Chris Stockton breathe a sigh of relief. And they carry on their battle for the lead. And now Stockton has a go at Richard Hay up on the inside. Through he goes. Chris Stockton now leads out of Redgate. Hay behind him. Third is Keane. Fourth is Caroline. 
and Phil Keane trying to make amends for that rather kamikaze move into the chicane. He managed to miss everybody, but he's also done himself a fair amount of harm in the fact that he's lost a whole heap of time. He's got Lee Caroline catching him, though, as Chris Stockton leads. And further back, David Mason is trying to make amends for his spin. He's got himself ahead of Peter Wheeler. There you can see Richard Stanton, who started at the back of the grid, looking for a way past Charlie Kemp as they go across the line. By his own standards, Richard Stanton has had a very subdued weekend. Charlie Kemp looking in the mirrors, and he's got Richard Stanton tucked right up behind him. Stanton won at Silverstone last year, remember? There's Chris Stockton, the race leader, with Richard Hay trying to come back at him now as they turn out of coppice. Chris Stockton, ex-Northwest Formula 4 1600 racer, then he went into Legends and brought this ex-Andy Britnell car into the championship midway through last season. He was instantly on the pace, he had a win at Thruxton. Is he going to win at Donington? Well, not if Richard Hay has any say in it. He won't because Hay is right with him. Out of the chicane, the two of them now, up past the pits, heading down towards Redgate as David Mason gains another place there at McLean's. He's left himself with a lot of work to do, but Mason, who is a very, very quick driver in these cars, is still finding a real handful here. He goes through Coppice, gets himself on the wet part, the back comes round, he's not heading for another spin, is he? Yes, he is! Just like McLean's, I'm afraid David Mason gets on the wet part of the road. That unsettles the back of the car at that speed, round it goes, he loses the place he just gained, and he's going to be reeled in here if he's not careful by the Camp and Stanton battle. And there as well, look, he's Peter Wheeler. So suddenly, David Mason has got three of them queuing up behind him down to the chicane. Well, Mason's a quick driver, that is true, but here I'm afraid he's made a couple of mistakes that have really torn his chances. Richard Stanton going ahead of Peter Wheeler. You can see that offline, Donington is still very slippery, and Richard Stanton there tiptoes through. This is a replay of David Mason going into coppice, thumps the kerb, runs a little bit wide, that puts him on the wetter part of the circuit, and again, round comes the back. Gets himself back in the right direction. Past him goes Tim Hood, accelerating away is David Mason, but he's not going to be very happy about life here. One spin at McLean's, another one at Coppice. Meantime, the leaders are all bunching up, look. Stockton, Hay, then Keane, the three leaders absolutely together as they come out of the chicane. Now remember, Philip Keane's made one try to get past Richard Hay, that lost him time. He's back with Hay, who defends as they go down towards Redgate. Phil Keane tries to go around the outside here. Side by side into the corner. Philip Keane comes across those contacts. He tries to chop across the front. Richard Hay braving it out on the inside. Keane on the outside, heading towards Hollywood. Richard Hay gets his nose in front of them. Philip Keane should have the inside line for the next part of the crater curves, but no. He finds himself again offline on the slippery part of Donington. Drivers have been saying it's very slippery, even at the best of times this weekend. And we have had a lot of rain as well. So now, Philip Keane, having been offline there, down through the crater curves, has lost two or three lengths. That means Richard Hay can go back into attack mode. He's trying to close once more on Chris Stockton, and they head into McLean's corner once again, but Philip Keane is with them again. Hay, this time, going to the inside. Chris Stockton tries to defend. Phil Keane on the outside as they come into Coppice, three abreast. Look at this. Hay on the inside, he touches Stockton. Stockton goes off and takes Keane with him. Chris Stockton in the gravel. Philip Keane off as well. Richard Hay leads. Lee Caroline is second as they come down towards the chicane. Three into one, I'm afraid, did not go. Stockton delayed, Keane delayed, they're back on the circuit, and Richard Hay is the race leader with Lee Caroline now right up behind him. Meantime, Darren Dowling and Tim Hood are together, and it's Hood that locks up and goes almost up the escape road there. He sorts himself out, Dowling is ahead of him, and there is the recovering Chris Stockton now, coming over the line. Down towards Redgate, Chris Stockton trying to play catch-up now. Philip Keane still behind him, and Keane in a bit of a hurry as well turning out of Redgate onto the top of the Cranor Curves once more. Here's a replay, look, Chris Stockton a little bit wide out of McLean's. Richard Hay goes to the inside, Philip Keane goes to the outside. Stockton tries to take his line, Richard Hay turns in a fraction late maybe, gets on the wet part. There's contact between him and Stockton and Phil Keane with nowhere to go on the outside also plunges into the gravel. Meantime, Hay and Caroline are together coming into the chicane. Turning right, turning left, over the start and finish line now. And Richard Hay's day is certainly not over because he's now got to defend once more from Lee Caroline. Phil Keane trying to come round the outside here of Tim Hood. Hood locking up, almost running into Philip Keane. Keane takes the grass, but he gains the place there. Keane across the grass, briefly ahead. Big slide coming off the grass, sorts himself out, and he's got Stockton right up alongside him as well now. Down towards Redgate, Stockton passes Keane. Stockton should be able to get past Tim Hood. He does so. Phil Keane squeezes up on the inside for the lead in the meantime. Richard Hay has got Lee Caroline right up behind him, and Lee Caroline hasn't yet made the move you're expecting, in a sense. The reigning champion right up behind, but the back comes round. You can hear the tyres squeal, and Caroline spins. Round he goes into the gravel. 
But we've seen other people make mistakes at McLean's. Now that corner has caught out the reigning champion. Lee Caroline able to rejoin up through the gears there, accelerates up towards Coppies, but the rest of the pack hunting him down. Down to the chicane, Richard Hay, for the first time all weekend, I think, can breathe a sigh of relief. Not only is he in the lead, he's got nobody up behind him this time. Out of the chicane he comes, heading towards the start and finish line. Through goes Hay, but all the rest of them behind are still trying to make up for their various problems. Here's Lee Caroline turning his way through the chicane. Accelerates now over the start and finish line, but here is what he did wrong. Right up behind Richard Hay, coming into McLean's. You can see the car gets all unstable. Round comes the back. It drops him into the gravel. But now he's able just to get himself out. And he accelerates up towards Coppice. So Lee Caroline then chasing after the pack. At the head of which is Richard Hay. There's nobody around him this time. For the last time, Hay comes through Coppice. Wheel lifting there, you can see the front right wheel coming off the ground as Richard Hay corners around that double apex right-hander. Down to the chicane then, check and flag at the ready. Fourth in race one, it's gonna be a win in race two for Richard Hay. He turns right, he turns left, he accelerates up towards the check and flag. Victory then in race two of the season goes to Richard Hay, but what's going on behind him? We've had people yo-yoing up and down the order. It's gonna be second place for Lee Caroline. He's just able to hang on to it. In third, it's gonna be Darren Dowling. And behind for fourth place, it's gonna be Phil Keane. So another exciting, if physical, Carloom TVR challenge race, and it's a win for Richard Hay. Let's confirm who else did what. Lee Caroline second ahead of Darren Dowling. Keane fourth, Stockton fifth, Tim Hood sixth ahead of Ben Samuelson, and David Mason recovering in eighth. Yeah, they told me to be a bit more aggressive after the first one, so I thought I wouldn't give up quite so easily this time. And um, every time they got near me, they all threw themselves off, which was nice. But it's like stock car racing. It's not the way I like to race. And then suddenly this guy was with you. Yeah, I was a bit worried then, to be honest, because um, we've had our moments in the past, but I think that it was very, very slippery on the outside of McLean's, and I think maybe Lee found that out, but it was treacherous conditions if you get offline there. You gave him an easy run in the end, didn't you, by just making that slight mistake at McLean's? Yeah, I, well, I went to change down into third, and the gearbox blew to smithereens, so I'd done the last two laps with only fourth, so, I mean, I'm lucky to finish, really, so. The car doesn't really suit tracks with not a lot of grip which this is now it's a new track a new surface and they just slide everywhere it's just like go-kart racing at the minute um, but we held in there and luckily a couple of people went off uh, and then I just kept on cruising around to third so not too bad it's been an all-action weekend at Donington and Lee Caroline has a one-point advantage in the championship from Phil Keane and Richard Hay with David Mason fourth Chris Stockton fifth and then Darren Dowling Ben Samuelson and Tim Hood to round out the top eight <laughs> Welcome to Silverstone in Northamptonshire for the second round of this year's Carloob TVR Challenge. Racing coming up shortly around the full international circuit, but before that, let's have a look at what happened at Donington in round one. The lights go out and away they go. Lousy start as ever by Lee Caroline and it's Chris Dockson who leads it. Chris Dockton goes too deep into McLean, he goes off, he goes into the travel. Darren Dowling cuts across him all over the curve, there goes Dowling, he gets sideways and Dowling spins. Into McLean, Mason loses the back of the car. Locks up, scrabbles through, that was a pretty late lunge. came into Tuscan racing a couple of years ago. Goes right round the outside there. Very brave move, almost touching Caroline's car, but he's done it. Phil Keane comes out of the chicane to win the opening round of the Carl Hoop TVR Challenge. Who's going to be second? It's going to be a dead heat almost between them, but Lee Caroline just does it. Lights go red, engine notes rise, the lights go out, away they go. Down to Redgate there for the first time. There, but the back of the car comes round, he's run far too wide, he's off, he's in the gravel. Round it goes. Desperately late on the brakes. Bill Keane, lucky there, he didn't collect anybody. Gets himself a 
the whack part, the back comes round, he's not heading for another spin, is he? Yes, he is! Hey, this time going to the inside, Chris Ockton tries to defend. Hey, on the inside, he touches Stockton, Stockton goes off and takes King with him. But the back comes round, you can hear the tires squeal and Caroline spins! <laughs> Victory then in race two of the season goes to Richard Hay. It's been an all action weekend for Donington and Lee Caroline has a one point advantage in the championship from Phil Keen and Richard Hay. Yeah, they told me to be a bit more aggressive after the first one, so I thought I wouldn't give up quite so easily this time. And um, every time they got near me, they all threw themselves off, which was nice. But it's like stock car racing. It's not the way I like to race. Well, I went to change down into third, and the gearbox blew to smithereens. So I had done the last two laps with only fourth. So, I mean, I'm lucky to finish, really. So, so round two at Silverstone. And back on pole position is a former champion in Tuscan racing, and it's Michael Kane. It's really nice to be back racing Tuscans, really. I had a call last night at about half past eight from Richard Stanton, who unfortunately couldn't, couldn't race this weekend. And uh, he offered me the DeWalt car. And uh, I think a lot of the guys that had the DeWalt suits from last year from Le Mans sold them on eBay. So I think I was probably the only one that had the suit that would match the car. So no, I'm very fortunate that Race Sport Salisbury and, and Dennis have just given me a great car. And at the end of the day, um, yeah, fortunate to be on pole, I don't know, but uh, we'll see what the race brings. How was the circuit out there? Was it a bit greasy now? Um, no, I mean, the circuit was great. The, the only sort of bad part about it, I think, was Ben Samuelson. Uh, his route round here is a different one from I've ever seen. So uh, when you follow Ben round, you seem to get sort of stones, muck, rubble, bit of seating from the grandstands. He bounces off most things. So, uh, no, it, it, it was great and um, thoroughly enjoyed it. And hopefully the race weekend will be as good as well. So I believe this is the first time we've been in a Tuscan since about 2000. Yeah, I, I finished 2000 season and, um, and had a final race here with Mike Jordan. That was the season I won the championship. Um, I've done a, a, a couple of sort of tyre tests for Dunlop and things like that just because I wasn't entering the championship. But yeah, it's the first time in a Tuscan for four years and they haven't changed. I mean, they're still the, I still think they're the best thing out there to race. Obviously, I've been very fortunate to race the Speed 12 and the Tuscan R's. Um, that's a bit more serious. Uh, the old Tuscan just shakes its head and points and gets around the corner.